Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another episode of Applicable Science Podcast. I'm your host, Kirsten Rishmaul. And I'm your co-host, Amanda Harvey. And your boy, Chauncey. Yeah, I know how it is. And then we have uh, a special guest with us. Um, she, if for future references, she probably won't need no introductions uh, later on in her career. But right now, she is uh, a good friend of the show, uh, CEO. She's a ball, girl boss of uh, CEO, uh, CEO, uh, Miss uh, Huntley. You want to introduce yourself? Well, hello, everyone. My name is Jai Huntley. I am an electrical engineer major in leadership studies minor from Biddy, Missouri. And I am an engineer at Hampton along with these fellow individuals. You know, you know, people with these special Talk special guests just keep rolling through. A lot of people say they want to be hopping on this, so <laughs> word up. <laughs> uh, Jai has her own business where she creates all sorts of things that I would have never ever thought to make. Uh, especially if you are in a Greek organization, that is one of our biggest uh, clients. If you have any, matter of fact, just any like, yeah, Greek organization, period, whether it be Divine Nine or Multicultural, hit up Jai by Jai, Customs Incorporated, Jai by Jai, <laughs> uh, Black Business Alert. Black Business Alert. Thanks for the plug, Chris. Thanks for the plug. So, Chris, what are we talking about today? Thank you for asking, Chauncey. So today on this Park Car com- uh, Conversation, Valentine's Day edition, we are talking about dun, 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 our ideal perfect date. These so perfect date. Okay. So I know as uh, young men, we don't actually think about this that often. Uh, so I'm going to I'm uh, point it to the women of the podcast first. And uh, I'm gonna try to grab some uh, ideas out for those. Uh, but you know, we we have to be a little bit conservative because you know, Chris uh, Chris can't be planning like multiple on Valentine's Day because that defeats the purpose of a perfect day. But let's pass it on to the girls. Jai, you wanna go first? Yeah. So you're asking my ideal date. Uh, oh, what would make you cry if a dude set this up for whether it be uh just a normal day or he trying to propose Valentine's Day? What would just make you cry pretty much? What would be the cutest thing? Well, first, if he came and picked me up in a limo and then we had wine waiting in the limo. Wait, hold on, pause. Wait, wait. <laughs> I, I'm done yet. I'm done yet. Wait. So once he comes and picks me up in the limo, we drink some wine. Then we go to a wine field and we stomp some grapes and we drink more wine. Then we go into a hot air balloon and then, you know, wait, wait, wait. wait I have two questions real quick off the bat. I need to put these down. So one first question is, is he picking you up in the pinky limo from Friday, next Friday? Is he picking you up in that? Are you okay with that? I'd rather it be like black glitter. Okay, but if he had to pick you up in a pinky limo with the the uh bull horns on the front, would you be okay with that? I'd be okay, but I'd ask, where did you find that limo? <laughs> and second of all, are you sure you're not gonna get too drunk that you can't get on the hot air balloon? Cause you just said a bunch of wine. You said wine like yeah. seventeen times. We'll be fine. Okay, you can continue. Then after the hot air balloon, we'll surf the sky, come down, and hopefully it'll land somewhere but like a picnic and at the picnic we can have more wine some great <laughs> some heart-shaped sandwiches and you know maybe we can paint and then we'll go camping for the night so there needs to be like some tents and we'll stay the night and build camp. oh question how you go from expensive <laughs> all the way down to cheap well with me i'm a multi you know uh, multi- I think my laptop's multi-facet multi- yeah. yeah so I don't if you want to do low budget high budget we can mix it okay um, another question so what is your wardrobe going to be shorts or so sweats you're going to be riding in a limbo with shorts or sweats 
that's even worse. Or if he was smart, he would tell me how to get dressed at each location. And he can have my outfit picked out. So she'll have, he'll have multiple wardrobe changes. I'm assuming by a local uh, bathroom, I'm assuming, because you can't go back to the house. (laughs) Or or unless you want to be in nature, you want change in the woods. I've done it before. Ain't nothing wrong with a little Adam and Eve. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I'm playing. So I I would say like my, I, I don't, as far as like crying, I don't know. Like it's more so the thought that counts with me. But out of every outrageous thing I just said, like hot air balloons does seem fun. Stomp grapes does seem fun. Okay. Camping sound fun. Okay. I'm not picky. Uh, Miss Harvey. Okay. So um, let's see. I would say overall, my ideal date would be if I wouldn't have to do any, like any of the planning or anything. And it was kind of like all of a surprise at the same time, even though I hate surprises. Like if you were really to surprise me, it would be like, ah. And like, I wouldn't have to put anything. So like, yeah, I liked how Jai said you, he would tell you what to wear and the event. So maybe he would buy you some new clothes, pick out some outfits. That would be nice. And then, <laughs> <laughs> it's my ideal day, okay? Yeah. It's like once in a lifetime. So yes, he can <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so you're telling me a dude took you out on a date and said, okay, get dressed in some jean a, a skirt, okay? A skirt. Mm-hmm. And let's say she he even picks the right shoes, okay? So then he takes you off and y'all yeah, went to the mall and he said basically run up a check and you got where you wanted. What he said, just run up a check. <laughs> Are you saying is a date a shopping spree? Is what that's what my question is, basically. No, 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 no. I was saying like he would already have them pre bought before the date. So like he would like have this outfit here, put this on. It's a mix of him giving you what he wants to see, but knowing what you like. Mm-hmm. So if you know dang well I'm not into sparkles and sequins, and you bring me a sparkle and sequins dress, then we got to talk. Mm-hmm. But I might put it on still just because you you like the dress, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Uh, but yeah, so then so that he, he brings me like different outfits for different parts of the day. I do like the limo, you know? That sounds nice. Or even like, maybe like an old timey car. <laughs> That's like really, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm riding on horses. That yeah. would also be fun, you know? Here you go with the horses, man. <laughs> horses are fun. They are. They. But so then, okay, let's see. <clears throat> Other than that, I would just say like fun activities like we could go like zip lining or we could go like I like I really like amusement parks. So like say if you were to take me to an amusement park, if you really wanna if you're Mr. Moneybags, you wanna run it out, that would so be this is all in one day. <laughs> it could be. Yeah. You like you break up stuff. So then also we could I don't know, like it doesn't even have to like we could like go to the beach or do something fun like that, but then also like Say while we're at the beach, we could go on like a helicopter or like go like on a little boat and bounce through the water or okay. Hey Charlie, bro, you don't know what these women messing with. I go to no. okay. the, at, at that point, okay. I don't know. They messing with the YouTuber, bro. They he got the he got a monetized video. He's getting paid like millions of dollars for every video because so he's, he's probably he's probably vlogging on this game money wide at it. So the his views is paying for the date. So you know, right? Probably, okay, right. Oh, he's, okay. He's dancing I, on TikTok I, I, right now. I, I, y'all ask for ideal dates. Do y'all know, want low plan. budget ideas? Because <laughs> I we can give y'all some low budget ideas. <laughs> Wait, we're gonna say that for the rest. We're gonna say that for the for the next segment of the podcast. Okay. Uh okay. But then yeah, I would say after you like have a day of, of like fun activities that are like, you know, like get you all hype and stuff. But then like do something like like you can chill with, kind of kick it back, do a lot of conversation. Um 
and like you know rehash like I feel like on those dates you also like it's kind of like the bachelor and bachelor for me it's like you know then you have your evening where you like talk about life and things like that so it's like you just talk talk about experiences and stuff like that and then you know then hit it with a bang like you know um not that way but <laughs> like not yet. but uh like you know something like that's nice and sweet to close out the night but if, yeah but first we gotta find men who actually think this way so yeah that's the first step okay ladies and gentlemen hold on i got the perfect yeah yeah, 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 yeah. continue chauncey you gotta put on a background <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. I know. I, from outside looking and looking at these, look at their requests. It seems kind of extreme to me, we but, 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 at the end of the day, this is not my life. It's not like my ideals, this is not my choices. And I'm pretty sure that what they're all trying to say is as long as it's coming from the heart and it has some significance, they're going to be happy. So the limo, the um, the, the boat ride, the hot air balloon, all of these are metaphors for something with significance. So some personal time and stuff like that. Is it coming from their heart or is it coming from Ben Franklin's heart? I feel like it's coming like I said, I think they're just trying to make it like a a metaphor for something else. So when they say a boat ride, they really mean a car ride. <laughs> and hot air blue, man, they're talking about actually blowing some bubbles. So, you know, it's all about the metaphor. You just got to get the significance under it. All right? No, okay. Let me, uh, Chauncey, no, no, no. Chauncey, no. it's an ideal date. Uh, so you're going right. to shoot for the start. Like, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. <laughs> Obviously, our expectations of when we date somebody is not that they're going to provide our ide- ideal date. <laughs> and well, that what I was going to say is the bubbles. I think that's a nice idea. So if you want to take me to the beach, we can fly a kite and blow bubbles. That's what I'm saying. So, like I said, it's all about the metaphor. So, we got the women's perspectives. So, let's see what we think. Chris, what is Mr. B, go ahead, Mr. B. Mr. B. Wait, one question. Is it a date that women are putting on for you guys? Yeah. Uh, That's a good point. I was thinking of the man doing the date. Hold on. But, Chris, since it's like a perfect date for ideal date, (laughs) We should think of like since we thought of guys planning for girls, let's do the right um vice versa. So girls so them planning for us. What well, about y'all? So do- what what date will make you make you cry? I'm not <laughs> crying. Metaphorically. <laughs> metaphorically. Wait, so metaphorically, am I crying? Like uh, like is tears coming? Like are the tears coming like, on my like, cheek? Like they so represent happy. the rain. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say you're so happy that like nothing, no no news that someone can give you can ruin the day because the day you just had, like it was probably one of the greatest days you ever had. All right. Uh, this ain't something I think about every time I wake up. Uh, so, so I probably wake just- up in the morning, what happens? Got a preference. Is is this a girlfriend or just a wife? Yeah, your girlfriend. Your okay. girlfriend. I mean, it could be uh, girlfriend or wife. That gives you two. Oh, different... hear the wife. That gives you two. Yeah, different... that's right. Yeah. Girlfriend and wife are two different things. Because wife, different you're thing. like more business oriented. Two wife. Girlfriend, like... you still got like. If you're like... doing all this for your significant other, you're gonna get me. <laughs> I feel like there's two different. It's two different relationships when you get a wife and a and you get a boyfriend. I mean. Not a wife, a boyfriend, but a wife and a girlfriend. There's two different ways you're supposed to, you know, uh, relation. All intents purposes, girlfriend. Okay. Uh, she takes uh, she takes me to an NBA game. Okay, if I haven't been to one already, 
uh, cause I never been. So matter of fact, she takes me to the finals, game seven. Chance, you know what that's like, or anybody that watches sports at least. Game seven, NBA finals. I don't care who's on the court. That's a good game. Uh, so that that's in there. Um, uh, what else? So that's probably will be the closer since that's gonna be at night. Probably that probably be the closer. Hopefully, it's my favorite team, Miami Heat. But if it's not, I'll take the tickets. We'll, we'll go watch somebody. It'll probably be LeBron again. Uh, say this is hard. This is hard for dudes to make up on the spot because we don't dream. And well, I, I can't speak for all men, but I don't dream. I and dream. <laughs> women don't spend all day every day thinking about this either. Yeah, right. but y'all have this in the tuck though. Not, not all about more than not, more times than not. Yeah, this is know. on the flash drive. I have my wedding ten times more mapped out than uh my ideal date. <laughs> But Close if you enough. think about it, a wedding is kind of a um, persona, like a superfied um, date, if you really think about it. No. Mm, because you know, it, it kind of is, if you really it's think It's a celebration, it. not a date. Okay. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to have to say we wake up. Uh, first thing we do is go do a water activity early in the morning real quick. It don't get too hot. So we don't really waste a lot of energy. So whether it be jet skiing, uh, kayaking, canoeing, cause I'm a, I'm a, uh, outdoor person at heart. So doing something outdoors is pretty much, a, uh, a good target to hit. Uh, yeah. Like zip lining, Amanda said, that's cool. Uh, snowboarding, whatever it may be. Uh, afternoon, I don't know, like, probably, like, visit Pixar, when I visited there during, like, what was it, sophomore year, that, that place is amazing, California, that place is crazy, so, do something with Pixar, I guess, and then finish off with the NBA Finals, I think I should be happy enough to cry. I might share Denzel tear from Glory. I might drop one tear. Be like, you spent all this money. I don't know how you did that. I hope you ain't a drug dealer, but. Maybe he saved for you. I'm really feeling you. All right, Mr. B, it's your turn. You just went. I'm talking to you. I ain't talking to myself. Oh. Well, I'm not Mr. B. You remember, I am Dr. Shadow. You're not Dr. Shadow. But, um, moving on. Um, okay, so this is for a girlfriend perspective, Chris? Yes. All right. Uh, we wake up. We go on our morning workout as usual. After the morning workout, we go get some good eats. Prefer to be like a waffle or a pancake place. Let's see. She's taking you to Waffle House. Check. Hey, it could be Waffle House and I'll be I'll be all right. Uh After we go, we do something to stimulate the mind. So going to an escape room, something that will make me think. Then after the escape room. You cool if she take you to Brooklyn and you play chess? That'll be, that'll be, that'll, that'll be lit. Actually, now I think about it, that would be lit. Okay. And play one of those uh, speed chess. <laughs> That's how they be hitting the table. Yeah, facts. They be like, they be moving. Like it be less than two minutes after they done playing in total time. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, after chess, we'll go 
Get some food again. Oh, damn. We got to factor in food. I'm just thinking about what's the timetable because there's usually like different times and I'm trying to account for the time as well. And then after going to an NBA game, we'll definitely still be there. I think that's fair. Okay, dokie. So, how y'all would plan y'all dates for your ladies? Uh, how would I plan it? Instead I, of her planning for you, like, can you do y'all the opposite? For- uh, yeah. Are you asking like what what would it be? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I I don't know if y'all want to do an ideal date or a typical date or what. I would do. I would do the highlight date. Like how I would let's just say for um giggles and purposes let's just say how you would try to propose at least okay i would try to involve all her friends even the ones i don't like and the ones that don't like me just try to get them get them first on the list and get them out the way early yeah Uh, because they they're the biggest pains yeah right like girl you you he ain't nothing but you i'm like all right all right take this card and read it but it, or the ones that say, "Are you sure she's gonna say yes?" I'm like, yeah. "If you don't read this card and let's you don't get out of here, I didn't want you in this. I'm inviting you. Don't let me give you the wrong address." Right. <laughs> That's how Fast, like I didn't want you in this. You just happened to be friends with her before I got to it. Like just, just read this card and let's get on. All right. Uh, try to try to do like a scavenger hunt. I think that's pretty straight. Oh, that, that would be tough. That would be tough. Through the city or like a small one. That's the thing. The city is OC, though. Like, if you're trying to do a, a scavenger hunt in the middle of New York it, or L.A., you might be doing that all day. And you better hope that when you, it ends, it's, like, at a reasonable time. So we'll end on, like, a, a beach. So that's pretty straight. Like, uh, just ideal, like, with flower petals, candles. Hopefully it'll be, like, dark, but not really, like, midnight. So, like, a 7, 8-ish. So, Chris... Are you gonna guide her through it, or you're gonna like sh- give it to her when she wakes up, and then she'll go through on her own? Maybe go through it with her friends. She's gonna have to go through it with her friends, yeah. So like each point of the scavenger hunt is like another riddle to the next point, which is, I mean, pretty much is a scavenger hunt, but it's also with location based too. So it'll probably be like first place we met, first place we kissed, first place uh we went out on a real date, first place I took you out. First place you took me out, uh, favorite spot, just like sim- simple, sentimental stuff. Uh, and then it end off on the beach. And then uh, it probably, I'm, I've like on the scene on social media, people like do photo shoots and then they just do the surprise uh, unveiling. So you get two for one special. I think that's pretty cute. Uh, probably do that. Yeah, mid dark. You're gonna have a lot of flash. You're gonna have, have a bunch of flash, but right before sunset, um, I think that's ideal, and then boom, I think that's a pretty good night. Do you think she will catch on though? That's what I'm saying. I feel like if you do that, it's gonna she gonna know something is up if it's her friends. Well, I mean, either way, she'll probably know something's up, but if it's like she's traveling through the city with her friends, like, oh, this is where well, maybe not, it just depends on female. Well, I she just could hope, be like, this yeah. is the first date, this is our first, you know. Well, yeah, I hope that uh, uh, that the friends know how to hold water. Um, mm-hmm. They don't give any secrets I hope, out. I hope they'll hold water with their hands. What? What did that mean? You mean that they're hard at keeping a secret? Oh, hold water, hold water, like... <laughs> hold water with their hands? It was metaphorically speaking, Chauncey. But it's like the rain with the tears, like you. Okay. Uh, I I would hope they know how to keep a secret. I mean, I'm not gonna date a dumb a, a dumb girl, so she gonna be sharp at least. She gonna be smart. Now with the female, that's the real question. Like the the real trick of the job. If if the females is not gonna be very obvious and she not gonna catch on so it has to be like a reoccurring place where she just thinks it's a, another day out with the girls and I'm like hey now the real part is i don't know how they gonna convince her to go to the beach at seven o'clock 
is that if she out all day every day but it's also a scavenger hunt so she's she's know something's up but she just it she trying to figure out what the piece of or the puzzle is mm-hmm. i'll try to help you um plan when the time comes all right is it <laughs> obvious though like if I, I don't think this happened to y'all yet but is it a little bit <laughs> It yeah, depends I'll, on how you play it. Yeah. You have to play it real smooth. Because yeah. if not, someone's going to be like, I know what you're doing. Especially if she's with the friends. Like, if she has a decent group of friends where they try to distract you. So, like, my friends, they if they can tell I'm catching on to something, they're going to start trying to distract me. And But I'm not too distractible. So, you know. <laughs> but it's almost like you just got to know how to navigate who you're supposed to be navigating. <laughs> so, if you know she's going to catch on and they just need to be willing to be like, oh, like, look at this. This is so pretty over here. Sound or like you could just do the scavenger hunt with her. Fact, seems like I need to just subtract the friends. I mean, honestly, like, if you can find a way to put a twist on it and then once you get to the, like, before you get to the beach, make it seem like that's how the night's ending. Just to kind of trick her and then propose. What if I just waste time like throughout the day, just go to like the different spots and then just say, like, you want to go to the beach later on today and then just go to the different spots throughout the day and then be like, oh, oh, I didn't know this was planned. Oh, there's a photo shoot. Oh, there's flowers. Oh, there's hearts. Oh, look at this ring. Oh, I'm on my knee. Ow, it hurts. Ah, like. <laughs> Scrap your hunt still works though. You just got to play your cards right. That's it. How your knee hurt in, if your knee's in the sand? The sand is hot. And it's hard. At seven? Hey, you ain't never been you ain't you ain't never been to Florida, have you? You ain't never been to Florida Beach. <laughs> It'd be summer year round. Mm-hmm. All right, Chauncey. I am finished. I hope that would make her happy. If it don't, I, I might need to return that ring. It'll make her happy as long as you don't pull a Chauncey and have a diamond where you can't even see it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But some women like that. Some women like that. I was a host. You will be kicked out right now. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be rude. Or bet, or bet, yeah, I would have you muted it already. So this is, is this the ideal date or should I plan for a proposal? Are you a propose? Let's just say proposal, yeah. Okay, so what I will probably do, I mean... I mean, don't be like offset and be like, so you're going to marry me or what? Um, like, I don't know. It's, I mean, it's hard for me to think about it on the spot. I will, let's say that it up. Uh, give me like a, give me like a person, give me some, like somebody I can relate to, or give me like a person so that I know who I'm playing this for. Cause like, I have to know, I'm about to know about this person so that like, I can like plan tailored for that specific person. Ooh, just your ideal woman. <clears throat> so my ideal woman. Let's say her top activities are um she's she does something with fitness okay whether she has a fitness page or she's a personal trainer whatever something with fitness uh uh she likes netflix she likes movies so she's a movie fanatic whatever whatever is coming out she wants to go see it at amc hopefully amc is still out but she wants to go to the movies and she is uh, hmm, she's in the medical field okay let's just say that she's in med school let's just let's just phrase it up or not she's in med school so you you try to deal with those parameters okay so first things first if she's an active person i would We'll do like her normal thing, like because more likely or not, I would like to work out in the mornings. So after that, what we're probably gonna do is 
we're going to go since she's like a, a movie fanatic I will we'll probably you gonna host a drive-in movie theater for her that'll be that'll be a closer Huh. Okay. Um, we're gonna go to a. What was the first thing you said? Because I was thought you you said something else. That was the fitness. Then I said the movie fanatic, and then the medical. The she's in med school. So, in the morning, I would. I'll see where her ideal, like her um. Her idols are. And who she closely relates to, like who's her hero, for example. Okay. And okay. So um I will like set up a meeting, like will we go to one of her favorite places, right? And I'll get her hero to meet her. Mm. So that she gets that you know, that surprise factor. So she's saying, oh, like, I never, like, I can't believe I'm meeting you, blah, blah, blah. So then I'll get, I'll let her meet her. And depending on him or her's time schedule, it may only allow us like 20 to 30 minutes. You think you can pull so off she, bringing Megan Thee Stallion to the restaurant? Huh? You think you can pull off bringing Megan Thee Stallion to the restaurant? I feel like if, if that's her um hero, I feel like I I will make it happen. Are you going to pay the price? I mean, yeah. Oh, Trump is spending but, money. Huh? But at that time, fifty k to get Megan to come to dinner. You going to pay fifty k? Uh, That's yeah. a ring. At that time, you I said yeah, I'll make to come, but won't pay for a ring. At <laughs> that, I should. Be. Okay, so. I'll let her, I'll let them um, chop it up. Then we will go to the, we'll, we'll go through the, uh, the history of movies, like the movie she likes and the actress she likes. So I'm pretty sure there's like some type of like, um, museum or something, depending on where we're at. It depends on location too. Cause if we are like in LA, there, you know, there's always the walk of fame. Um, we'll do something along the lines of that. Then I will, whatever new movie that's coming out, I will host the drive-in for anyone who wants to come. I'll probably put it around posters and stuff so people can come in, have fun. They'll, I'll uh, hold some concessions so that if they want snacks, they can get it. We can make money. I mean, I probably just, I probably just donate the money back to charity. Honestly, now you gotta pay Megan somehow. No facts. <laughs> <laughs> Meg gotta perform. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I'm not worried about that. But um, then after I will, we'll close it with the movie. Like I said, then when I, when when she gets home. When we, because by that time, I'm hoping we're living together, I think. But by that time, I will have uh, her friends and family, uh, like at the room, at her uh, apartment or oh, our apartment. Okay. When she opens the door, everyone is like uh, there. <laughs> and then she's so, she'll be confused, like, what are y'all all doing? And then, She's gonna, everyone's gonna have to, <gasps> and then she's gonna turn around. <laughs> I'll have my, I'll have my knee down, and I'll be saying the five Wait. magical words. Wait, can you, can you do that? Can you do that sound again? Five, five, Four. yeah. I can wait. Will <laughs> you marry me, please? Four. Four. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I Maybe guess it's probably her name. Four. Yeah. Four. Wait, what was that sound? What was that uh that sound you made? That <gasps> <laughs> I feel like that's so fake. <laughs> <laughs> she 
she would not say that. Oh, she was just frozen. And then she's like, what? <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. That's a good day. That's a good day. Now I think about that would be lit. How about you, ladies? You go first, Amanda. Um. Yeah, I don't. Wait, 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 wait. Like, I think. Huh? No, no, no. What you say? My fault. My fault. Okay. I was saying, like, honestly, like, yeah, proposals are nice, but like. I like the more like intimate where the guy like he does something that catches me off guard and then like pours his heart out and tells me like how much I mean to him and then that's really all you have to do like to make it meaningful because I mean I think marriage proposals they really don't have to be all that so it's more of like the guy stressing out and uh <laughs> one who asked for a boat ride yeah like that's other dates yeah, but like for miracles, they really don't have to be all that. You save your money because you're gonna have to need you're gonna need it for the wedding. You know, so. it's be, you know, it's gonna be awkward is if he drops his ring right at your foot while you're trying to get like for whatever reason he drops it and it falls out of his pocket and y'all both looking at each other while looking at the ring and like, what is that? I'm like, oh well, here goes nothing. <laughs> Would you, Chris, would you like, um, are you going to be one of those cliche peoples or this is actually a question for the group. Would you appreciate cliche when um, y'all at dinner and she hides the food in one of your uh, bites of like. Hides the ring and the like cupcake then, or something. Yeah. yeah. No, don't, then, don't do that. You're going to break my teeth. I'm in the book on song. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm, I'm in, what's in here? And then you pick it up, you book. Yeah, I'm gonna crack a tooth or something. Yeah. What the? What the? Tonti, you can do that with your little diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing gonna come off. <laughs> this smoke that's coming his way is unnecessary right now. <laughs> I don't see. Sorry. You're, you're, y'all are just lucky that I'm not co host because I definitely would mute you. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, that's. That's really it for me. What about you, Jai? Um, for me, it just depends on where each person's from. So, like, if I'm meet somebody from Kansas City, then it could possibly be more family oriented, unless he wants my family to fly out to Virginia or wherever, or meet in the middle. I don't know. So, I guess if it's like family, then it will be well. Either way, I kind of more so prefer like something intimate. So you can either have my family or not have my family. Chris, you got a question? Quick, or you just uh, told me. I have a clarifying question. So, what if he is from Kansas uh-huh. City, but he's from the other Kansas City? Because I know y'all Kansas have City, a, Kansas. City? Yeah, I know y'all have a little beef. So, I just want to make sure is that okay with the family? Yeah, all he gotta do is cross the river, and then he's on the Missouri side. Cool. So, okay. But I mean, I don't know. Like, if it was a case where he didn't want family to be in it, it would be nice if we did like a. 500 piece puzzle or something like that or you know something that could possibly stimulate my mind and distract me to where I have no clue like I just want to be surprised and so you see that W and be like with the question mind like <gasps> I mean it could be a giant picture and then at the very tiny bottom be will you marry me or something or he could have like, like pre-put the puzzle together and hide all those chunks or something you know mm-hmm. oh, or he could just do like- puzzle yeah, or a puzzle, and then like Amanda said, like express his feelings, you know, and then like make me tear up. Like it's it's just so, it's just so confusing how y'all go from perfect dates raging from <laughs> thousands of dollars to something that is only no more than a hundred dollars. Like it actually, it, it's mind boggling, and I feel like it's cat. Is what I'm feeling like. No, because, okay, so here's here's my thing. So, yes, like, dates and stuff, like, the perfect ideal date, I wouldn't mind that being, like, a little elaborate and extravagant. But when you're saying you want to marry someone, that's a very intimate thing. So, yeah, like, at that point, all the extraness is nice, but it's really, like, committing to be with that person for the rest of your life, and that's just not something that needs to be extravagant. Because it's not, it's just, like, between two people. 
Yeah. If you want to make it extravagant, that's nice too. But that's his choice of having my family there. Do I want them to know about it? Yes. So if it is a case where it's separate, I wouldn't mind. Like, I want them to know he, well, maybe not even know he did it. So I guess if he wanted to have it like recorded or something, maybe just to keep it on record. But mm -hmm. as far as like extravagant dates, like I'll, hot air ballooning would be fun, but we don't have to do that along with camping and stuff all on the same day. So I just like little small activities on the weekends or something. So you um, do people not act like their father for permission or hand yeah. in People do. Yeah, they do. They don't tell the dad when they're doing it. Yeah, some do. Saying, but... Like y'all was saying, you know, they just get blindsided. So I was just saying, do guys not do that no more? No, I want to get blindsided. So like you can tell my mom and dad ahead of time, but they just don't need to tell me. So as far as the day when you're actually proposing, like I definitely want to be blindsided. Like I want to have absolutely no clue. Like if, even if we go to a nice restaurant, if you play your cards right to where I'm distracted enough to just think it's a normal date or you just wanted to do something nice, then, you know, propose. They're going to build you something. It's going to be like, well, you marry me. But are you going to see it on Jai by Jai's uh, transaction report? <laughs> where did all this wood come from? Right. Now, you would be a slow dude if you let me catch you. You can't erase the transactions. Mm -mm. But I mean, you really like some stuff is just like some with a lot of things, simplistic things are better or simple is better. So even with dates, like if you want to just take me to the beach and we sit and watch the sunset, that's nice too. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Yes. Fair enough. I, I would like to say happy Valentine's Day and happy singles, singles awareness day to all you people <laughs> out there. You know. We live in life. Woo, woo, woo. But yes, just no matter how you spend today, remember that you are not alone. Hey, if you if you sing, you ain't got to buy a Valentine's Day gift. Save some money, okay? Treat yourself. How about that? Yes. If you dump her in November, you don't have to pay for a Christmas gift, a New Year's gift, or a <laughs> Valentine's Day gift. Oz, uh, a New Year's gift? Hey, bro. I don't know what I don't know what the landscape looks like these days. So I'm just saying, just for references. Did you guys also sign up? Did you guys know that was the most popular time to break up, like right before like the holiday season? Oh, oh yeah, that makes, that makes that makes perfect sense. November like, rule. Like that. That's what I'm saying. If you try and get out, you got, you got to get out early. You got to meet the family twice. A birthday gift. You got to bring something to the to the Thanksgiving dinner that you don't know how to cook, so you looked it up on TikTok. Then you got to make plans for New Year's. It's just a lot in a matter of 90 days. The best time to get a girlfriend is probably after Easter. But then you got you summertime. Guys but summertime is much easier to contain. The winter time is much worse. You would know better than me, Johnson. I'm deferring no. to you. Yeah, because I, because I was your uh, secretary. Yeah, all so right, I, all right. That's been another that's episode. All <laughs> that's been another episode, y'all. Had to make sure your. I money, do have one I question. Make sure your money is straight. I had to make sure you had enough time. All right, you I ain't my secretary, okay. bro. <laughs> yeah, guys, guys, when oh, I told my, you, huh? Chris never paid me a dime. Bro, and, um, okay. I never Continue. asked you to be I my secretary. <laughs> I'm muting you. <laughs> so my one question is do you guys plan on like giving your girl flowers throughout the year or do you guys more so or are you guys more so going to let valentine's day be the only day you like do flowers and go above and beyond if i like her it won't be the only time throughout the year that takes so much pressure all the holidays if you just do it sporadically, like maybe once a month that she just don't know, but she just finds out it's once a month, that takes so much pressure than trying to deliver for Christmas and Valentine's Day. You save a lot of money in the end. That's valid. I do know somebody, though, that gives their wife and children like first day of the month flowers. So like every first day they get a new 
Pink flowers. That's fair. Out there if y'all want to do that one day. Take notes, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. If you need a shoulder to cry on, you can cry on Chauncey's shoulders, ladies. He's available from nine to five and five to nine. <laughs> nine to five. <laughs> but ladies, just know Chris' shoulder is much more. You tried to run the you tried to run the joke on me. It didn't work. No. <laughs> and, but, fellas, but, but, but. and fellas, if you want to if you want to send flowers to Amanda and Jai, they their Instagrams will be on the uh, descriptions, and you can find that the locations afterwards. That's perfectly fine. By the way, fellas, Instagrams too. Don't worry fellas, about that. Their DMs, their DMs are open, but just know. You got Mutumbo blocking, all right? So you got to be... When you in that, when you in that DM, you had to be Stephen Curry or it's getting blocked. Oh, all you have to do is say, hello, how are you? That's, that's, like, that's a cat, okay? It, ha- it has to be one, two, three. That is another episode for another topic. Yeah, I was like, that's a whole nother. <laughs> on how to slide in the DMs. That's a whole nother. All I'm telling you is... You can't be basic for these two girls. They will. LeBron. Y'all, you paying hey, the wrong price. Eagle dollar. <laughs> <laughs> but comment, like, subscribe. Until next time.